What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor DVDJ and use code YOURBOYBUGS for 10% off a checkout. And yeah man, check them out. What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today um, we're probably going to get into some new content. This is pre-recorded. So before we get into the video, please make sure to drop a like and whatnot. Please drop the sub if you are new. And uh, guys, while this possible market crash is happening, I don't know what's going on. I am at work right now, but this is pre-recorded to help you guys make some MT while the market is possibly crashed or possibly going pretty strong with the new content. I don't know if they're going to drop packs or token market update, but whatever it is, I'm going to show you some snipe filters to get your MT up and whatnot. So we're going to get into the video and yeah, make sure to drop the sub and also follow my Twitter for some giveaways and whatnot. But yeah, guys, right now. We're going to talk about a couple of things, a, a couple of methods of mine and snipe filters as per usual that you guys should definitely be doing on a Friday while the market is possibly crashed or while packs are dropped. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to get into some, some, into some snipe filters. And yeah, man, it is very, very like you guys need to know this if you play in uh, 2K a lot. So one snipe filter, I'm going to say if they do drop an opal today. Which is possible if they drop the opal, if they don't drop an opal either way. You could probably try out this night filter. You need a minimum of 100k for this night filter. If you do get anything, you're going to make a lot of MT. If you get Vince Carter, if you get anything, any Galaxy Opal, you're going to make 200k plus if you get them for 100k or less. So hopefully you do get something. This filter does take a lot of time. So if you're one of the most more impatient people, stay tuned for more towards the end of the video. We're going to go... From highest snipe filter, like highest pricing snipe filters to lowest pricing snipe filters. And we're going to go over some methods. So yeah, this snipe filter is definitely on the higher price side. I would definitely recommend this filter though. It's really, really good. So try it out. Let me know how it does go. And uh, yeah, so this filter, like I said, you need at least 100k to do it. But yeah, let's get into the next filter. Um, next filter. This one is interesting. It could be good. It could be bad. But it's simply pink diamond around 70k. Once again, this is on Xbox. If you are impatient, this filter might not be for you. Pretty much anything that pops up other than David Thompson is a snipe. So if you want to keep refreshing on this filter, I only sniped. What have I sniped on here? Honestly, I really this filter's decent. I don't remember sniping too much on this filter, but um, I usually do go with the lower budget snipe filters, and we're gonna get into that. But yeah, this snipe filter is pretty good if you once again get any new cards like if you get one of the moments cards on this night filter you're gonna make a lot of mt if joe dumars pops up you're gonna make a couple a decent amount of mt but uh on this filter i've seen a lot of cards pop up it's hard to get it so if you if you wait for a long time and you don't get this knife it's kind of sad it's really sad bro like it sucks when you wait all this time and something crazy pops up and you can't get it because someone's faster than you so if you are one of those slower snipers, I would not recommend this filter for you. But let's get into this one method that most of my subscribers know. And bro, if the market does crash, you will make thousands and thousands of MT. So this one is my favorite one by far. I make the most MT off this. It's not even really a filter, in, but it kind of is. It's pretty much bid sniping. And if you guys don't know, bid sniping is really hot right now. As you can see... When you scroll through the auction, like you could do this with any card you want. You just need to know their price. So I like to do it. If I'm going through bid diamond, I like to do it with diamonds. Sometimes pick diamonds if you do have more MT. This filter really only requires like I would say 30k MT, which isn't that much. Um, so going through here, as you can see, the most the most cards you see here is Paul Pierce by far. So since there is a Paul Pierce, there's a ton of Paul Pierce's up. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna check out his price. And I'm going to show you some methods that you guys should do. So his price is around, I think, 25-ish K. So first off, if you want to try to step out Paul Pierce, he is posted on the market a lot. So he's around 24K, right? Let's just say like 20-something. 
let's say he's 24k right so diamond paul pierce now you want to go to bids over here now if i do pick this up 22k i'm not gonna make that much profit so now 13 minutes left on these this is 15 4 this is 14 9 now since this one let's go with this one so this is next bid 16k what you want to do you want to up it two extra k so if you do go out bid it you still win so let's say with the remaining one minute left the bid still at 16k someone's going to end up bidding for 17k you want to be one stuff in front of him and make sure you do a bid for 19.6 because if you do get out bidded you get that 2k back whoever bid it on the 17k and you also get him instead of getting him for 19.6 you'll actually get him for 17k whoever underbidded you so you will still be on top but if you got out it again and he's going for 24 i would not recommend it so if i do get this car for 17k and I sell them at 24. After the reduction, I'll make a solid 5K profit. So 5K profit. And this card will sell in seconds since he's a very good example. Um, another card, you can pretty much do this with anything. As long as you know their pricing and as long as you think they will be solid. So Lillard's a pretty good example. And yo, since there's a ton of Donovan Mitchells from that locker code, if you guys don't remember it, it was the Spider Locker Code. It came out during All-Star Weekend. Donovan Mitchell, bro, was super cheap. And since there is a ton on the auction, you could get him for the low, low, low. So honestly, you could just try sniping him. But honestly, I really, it's kind of annoying to snipe sometimes. So Donovan Mitchell, bro, try to bid him out. You could, I definitely got a ton of Donovan Mitchells for 2K bids. Like, I mean, a ton, very good method. But yo, this is my favorite snipe filter in the game by far. It is so fast, so fast paced. When new content drops, it pops up every second. It's literally Amethyst. 1900 1800 whatever you want to do pretty much anything that pops up other than reggie jackson is a snipe so yo try it out when new content drops it's usually slower when no content's out but bro when new content drops this is the most 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 money snipe filter you could possibly make 20k in five minutes 30k in five minutes 40k in five minutes even 100k in five minutes the other day on my video, I sniped for five minutes and I made 40,000 MT in five minutes. No joke. You should go check that video out. Forgot what the title was. But this snipe filter is definitely to get your MT up, especially when new content is out. This is definitely the best. Like, you guys have to do this one. This one, and also, if you guys don't know, Diamond Snipe Filter 4K, anything that pops up is also a snipe. This snipe filter is pretty good too, especially when new content comes out. These filters are always good, but when new content comes out, they're a lot more fire. They're a lot more consistent. I really do like these snipe filters when new content does drop. Like right here, that Austin Carr. It's not really a big snipe, I don't think. I think he's around probably 5K, but I'll make a quick little decent amount of MT. I really don't think he's more than 5K. He might even be 4,500. But as you can see, I just got one real quick. So yeah, okay, 5K MT. I'm going to make a solid... 500 mt in probably seconds as long as he sells right away so right there spend 4k to make 500 mt not a lot but let's say you do that two times every minute 1k a minute if you make 1000 mt a minute at bare minimum in 60 minutes you make 60k mt so it definitely adds up as you guys can see i really hope you do enjoy these methods and yo honestly when the market if they drop token market update I would recommend looking at silvers because silvers, if they drop the token market update, silvers will go up in price when the tokens drop because people are going to try doing more sets. If you guys don't know, these sets, um, current NBA 20, NBA Series 2, and Heat Check all get you tokens. So Heat Check players could rise. A lot of cards could rise. And for some reason, a lot of cards in the East do go up in value. Supposedly, Korn, you, um, what's his name? uh space word j space bird bird i think his name is shout out to him bro he's like the god snipe he's the goaded sniper but bro these night like i can pick up this 1600 and sell him for 3k and honestly i'm actually gonna do that so i'm gonna sell him for 3k he'll probably sell overnight i'm gonna probably put him up for eight hours so if i put him up for 2900 mt i'm gonna make a solid amount over a thousand mt in another minute so those are my methods i hope you guys did enjoy the video this should definitely make you tons of mt but I would definitely recommend try bid sniping. Like, it's so, so money. And honestly, bro, I have a really, really good MT method for you guys. If you were, please drop a like on this video. Let's get it to 100 likes. I have a really good MT method that you guys might want to see. And I will show it to you in a video recorded and everything. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good one. Stay tuned. Peace.